HPV, or human papillomavirus, is a common sexually transmitted infection. It is estimated that about 80% of sexually active individuals will contract HPV at some point in their lives. This virus can be transmitted through vaginal, anal, or oral sex, as well as through close skin-to-skin -skin contact with an infected person. HPV infections often go unnoticed as they may not cause any symptoms, and most individuals clear the virus on their own without any complications. However, some strains of HPV can lead to serious health issues, including certain types of cancer. There are over 100 different types of HPV, and they are divided into high-risk and low-risk categories based on their potential to cause cancer. High-risk strains, such as HPV-16 and HPV-18, are responsible for most cases of cervical cancer, as well as other cancers of the genitals, anus, and throat. On the other hand, low-risk strains like HPV-6 and HPV-11 are more likely to cause genital warts but have a low risk of leading to cancer. Cervical cancer, in particular, is strongly associated with certain strains of HPV. It is the second most common cancer in women worldwide, and it is estimated that HPV causes nearly all cases of this type of cancer. Other types of cancer that can be caused by high-risk HPV include anal, vaginal, vulvar, penile, and throat cancer. Genital warts, a common symptom of low-risk HPV strains, are small growths that appear on or around the genitals or anus. They can vary in size and shape and may be flat or raised. While they are not usually painful, they can cause itching, discomfort, or bleeding. Genital warts can be treated, but the virus itself cannot be cured. It is important to note that some individuals infected with HPV may not develop visible warts, making regular screening even more crucial. Regular PAP smear tests, also known as PAP tests, are an essential tool in the early detection of cervical cancer. During a PAP smear, a healthcare provider collects cells from the cervix, the lower part of the uterus, to examine them for any abnormal changes. These changes may be an indication of cervical cancer or precancerous conditions. By detecting these abnormalities early, treatment can be provided to prevent the development of cervical cancer. The American Cancer Society recommends that individuals with a cervix begin regular pap smears at the age of 21. Between the ages of 21 and 29, it is generally recommended to have a pap smear every three years. From the ages of 30 to 65, women can choose to continue regular pap smears every three years or extend the screening interval to every five years if combined with an HPV test. HPV testing can help identify high-risk strains of the virus. In addition to regular pap smears, getting vaccinated against HPV is another important preventive measure. The HPV vaccine is recommended for both males and females, ideally before becoming sexually active. It provides protection against the most common cancer-causing HPV strains. The vaccine is typically administered as a series of two or three shots over a six-month period. However, even if vaccinated, it is still important to undergo regular PAP smears as the vaccine does not protect against all types of HPV. In conclusion, HPV is a common sexually transmitted infection with the potential to cause various health issues, including cancer and genital warts. Regular PAP smear tests are crucial in the early detection of cervical cancer, and vaccination against HPV can provide additional protection. By being informed, taking preventive measures, and maintaining regular screenings, individuals can take control of their health and reduce the risks associated with HPV.